A decade ago, balance sheet problem. Today is a balance sheet advantage, and that advantage accrues to our economy. Collaborative effort of the Government of India and RBI, the asset quality uh, management, prompt corrective action framework, are all great functions well carried out by our true regulator of the banks, Reserve Bank of India. Fiscal and monetary policy coordination. As always, the Government of India uh, is one of the uh, governments, like very many others, and RBI manages its debt, which is very important for government. Inflation management, despite monetary tightening pressures, and the measures which have been taken uh, for monetary tightening, has stabilized the GSEC yields which is very important for the economy. The stability in GSEC markets has contributed to overall financial market resilience and investor confidence in the Indian economy. Lastly, the Bank of International Settlements, BIS, has uh, mentioned significant role played by RBI in a very unconventional point. RBI's role in anchoring inflation expectations using communication policy is significant, is what the BIS has said. And I am sure not one in this audience would disagree with that. Apart from forward guidance, it was used for explaining the rationale, the policy of communication management has been used for explaining the rationale for the measures taken by the RBI. Thus. In the economy, confidence was built, up, um, and then um, optimism, if I can say so, opti optimism has been held up even during pandemic, held high and never let, to, let down. So optimism building is a very beautiful function which the RBI during crisis time has handled because it adopted this uncon unconventional instrument of communication with the people. And final word. Institutional integrity is something which I would credit the RBI and among very many central banks, India's RBI for its institutional credibility needs a big applause in the 90th anniversary. Thank you very much.